Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we are actually going to go around my beauty room. I'm gonna show you what it is that I have, how I have my things storaged um, or stored, <laughs> and how I pretty much have my makeup kind of set up in order for it to work for me and the studio space. This studio room is actually bigger than the one that I had before. The one that I had before, girl, was like half the size of this one, so it was, it was small. But as you know, you have to work with what you've got. Thankfully, I have a little more space here. The closet is actually bigger. The room is bigger and all that jazz. Obviously, Brett has helped me kind of think outside the box and make things work for me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to show you guys the closet, the drawers, the top of my filming table. Things will continue to rotate. So what you're seeing today may not necessarily be what's gonna happen next month solely because I'm still getting comfortable in this home personally, like the gray walls. I wish they weren't gray. I wish they were white, but this is not my house. I'm not trying to invest a lot of time and energy into changing things up when I know that we will be buying our forever home really, really soon. So it's one of those things like, I will deal with things and accept things with like the way they are for now. So I will continue to rotate things to make them work for me. So just know everything I'm showing you, it's a work in progress. We're still making changes. Now let's get into it. All right, let's get close and personal. I'm using my phone because I really don't feel like disassembling my camera just to like carry it around and stuff. It is most convenient to carry my phone. <laughs> so I'm gonna flip the camera over. I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I have going on up here. I actually cleaned my um, filming table and things that I don't currently need today right now for today or tomorrow's videos have been put away so let me flip the camera over here we have it i don't think it's as interesting as many people think but i always have my la clorox okay and then clorox over here but i have my laptop here now i used to have a full-on viewfinder i no longer have it i feel like the picture that i was getting is not true to color and it doesn't give me access to the utility as my laptop does so I have my laptop. I do have a desktop. That's what I have Ty using solely because I find it so convenient to have a laptop that I can just unplug and take with me. So I am obsessed with my laptop. I love my laptop. And I, if I have to travel, I go everywhere with her. Here is my Ricky mirror. This is the mini and it's still big. It's a big mirror. It's not like the really ginormous one that they do have. Absolutely love that. I like to have a cup of pens and markers, highlighters over here, just in case I have to write down some notes. Here is the 10 times magnifying mirror that came with the other mirror. A jar, which happened to originally be a candle jar, and I cleaned it out. Now is a jar jar that I can pretty much use for anything. So I have like my face brushes for the week here, and then I rotate them as I wash them weekly, of course. Here we have my go-tos for now. So. For this week, I am playing around with two different bronzers, two different highlighters. I have another one back there. This is my go-to setting powder. I love my Charlotte Magic Cream. This thing is absolutely amazing. I am playing around with these Brow Bar by Rima Brow products. Here we have a backup little you know, sponge just in case. Foundations that I'm using. This one is a go-to no matter what, and this is the one that I'll be using for the week. The QMS I use solely whenever I just don't want to apply any makeup and I'm just going to the post office and stuff. So here are all my go-tos. I keep my Duraline here just because in the event that a product is all dried up, I can go ahead and just pop some of this on there. Setting spray. Um, all my tools are right here. All my tools. So my scissors, my tweezers, my curling, my cur I was going to say my curling wand, my lash curler. I mean, lash application tools. All of that is here. Here I have my go-to liners and mascaras that got to be ultra glue. I use that for my brows. It's actually gel, but it works amazingly. My micellar water by Tarte and my lip plumper i love 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 let me roll these up and these here are the clean skin club pads love them so i have them handy just in case i have a little accident with my makeup i can just go ahead wipe remove and move on here i have my filarina i have um some perfumes that i can just grab and throw in my purse if i wanted to and then go to products if you watch my video you know you know okay so the brow gel by milk makeup and some go-to lippies are all here i'm still rotating that this has been living on this filming table since i got it guys these are so affordable i feel like i said before they were only six bucks 
you get 300 of them they're absolutely amazing one tip is like a sharp tip and the other one is nice and round this has been a lifesaver and it's really helping me clean out my wings whenever i need to so that's amazing this i have usually in a drawer but i have a meeting today and i don't want to hold on to my phone 24 7 i got it off of amazon um i'll link it down below but yes this is generally what you see if you were to sit on my vanity does that make sense so this is literally my view at all times which is why my eyes hurt half the time but it's okay because i love my job the purpose of this light is to light up this area over here over here you have that sign i still have the letters i just haven't been able to like flip it turn it and change it up a bit but that's gonna stay the way it is i just put those roses there i have some amazing go-to palettes that i do not want to put away because i want to rotate those and play around with them some more this basket here is actually pretty interesting i initially got it with the intentions of filling it up with items oh there's powder in there um items that family members can just grab out of and take home if they wanted to but what i've been doing is when i'm done using a product i go ahead and i drop it in here instead of leaving it on the vanity and then this goes in this little corner nice and safe and quiet and out of my way and it works really well so at the end of the week i can just take that carry it over to the closet, which I'll show you in a second, and then empty it out. So it just makes life a lot easier for me not to be overwhelmed with so much clutter on top of my vanity. And then down there, those are products that I save on the side for Brett. So yeah, that's for Brett. And then we have this over here, which you guys, it's the decor you guys see. Those are the car keys, of course. But this is the decor you guys see. Half the time you don't see all the way to the top, but this is pretty much what I have going on up here. I try to keep it as simple as possible. This is not my house. You guys know I moved here and I'm renting. Um, we are searching for our forever home now here in Florida. So it's one of those things like I don't want to po like punch a lot of holes in somebody else's walls, you know? This is a dry erase board. I use it for various reasons. I use this in a way to kind of keep in mind what I have coming in the mail for YouTube and what I have coming up for instagram things ideas so whenever i have a video idea this is where i place it because it just makes life easier if i can see it all here and it's very encouraging too because it helps me remember girl you got work to do don't put your feet up relax and sit back and think you're doing nothing hello you've got work to do so i always look here and at the end of the month i clear it out Right now, we're beginning October, which means that all of this gets cleared out and we start fresh. I literally just got this little gem. I picked it up at Five Below, which is not bad. It's pretty, pretty cute, small and compact, but this is what I've been using to try to schedule my videos on a weekly basis. And then we're here. This area, I like to keep as simple as possible. So let's start off over here. This is a cute little brush set that a subscriber sent to me she has her own little shop and she actually bedazzled all of this for me i haven't used the brushes they're super super soft they look really really nice but i just feel like i'm so grateful and they're so cute i don't want to use them and mess them up so i just use them as a display i have my charlotte tilbury perfume over here and then perfume that i kind of want to displays and make them like make the area look a little cute as you can see over here if you look back there i have a decent collection of dossier perfume as well as other perfumes like my burberry body that didn't fit up here so i just have them back there and then i have a picture of myself my husband and tai tai when she was much smaller i have a diffuser i have some decor and as you can see i have a number two sticker that i never actually removed down there can you guys guess what we have down there extra products giveaway products bins of stuff that i just have backups of and sometimes i change my mind and i just end up putting it in the giveaway bin here we go we have a ton of products in here that i tend to like once a month go through it and see what i want to throw together and create a giveaway bundle i've been at i have like six of these so i threw this one in here i've asked you guys what you guys were looking into the most whether you guys wanted a one ginormous giveaway or just smaller ones more often and the general consensus was smaller ones more often so that's what we're going to be doing and then here are backups of my faves well some of the backups of my faves if you're wondering where to get a little like shelving thing like this i picked this up over at walmart 
or Amazon, one of the two. I'll make sure I link it down below. And then these baskets were actually from Five Below. This here is my little trolley, and she's looking bare because a lot of my brushes are dirty. I have to go wash them, but I have all my eye brushes here. So anything I use for my eyes are gonna be over here. Then I have a basket full of concealers, and all of these here are foundations. I did remove some foundations um, and concealers out of here and place them elsewhere because I didn't feel like I needed them all out this way, although I feel like I might be decluttering some of these and eventually get rid of some. Then down here, we have more go-to palettes. We have napkins because it's never too much to have napkins. Sometimes I have little situations and I'm like, no, we need a napkin. So I have it on hand. I have a Juno & Co brush off so it cleans your brushes if you want to use the same brush and switch up your shadow shade. This is with me at all times because sometimes my um, elbows get super, super ashy. And then back here, we have Hella hand sanitizers down here. Y'all already know. And I have a um, hair extension piece right here. So when I'm filming a video, I just go ahead and drag this up to like this corner over here. And then we're good to go. It's with me at all times. That tape is there on purpose. I place my light here and I know my lighting is gonna be consistent. Those there are actually markers for me. Um, that way my light just doesn't keep switching up on me. That is a box for my mama, don't mind that. And under here we have so many wires because that's just what it is when you have this much equipment. Let's talk my closet because I feel like there's a lot going on in here. First of all, that's an air conditioning unit, but you guys know that I had a full house to myself when we purchased a home. We purchased a home that was a multi-level home. So I had attic, basement, all of that sorts of stuff for storage. And right now we're limited. So. The AC unit is there, just ignore it. Act like she's not there, you know. I don't have an Obi-Wan Kenobi or anything like that. It's not gonna start moving, so no worries. But here is really where my storage is and where it begins. This here I like to save in the event that I have a palette that doesn't really have good packaging. I like to package my, my giveaways very well, so I usually put like powder products or something like that in one of those slips. That way it, it has like that extra cushion to it. This box, guys, it is disgusting. It is completely full of eyeshadow palettes. I removed the box that was in here and I can show you these here are skincare products that I've been trying or are usually backups. So for instance, I have a brand new of the uh, Clinique Takeaway Balm. I have the Deep Cleansing Cream. I just have a ton of stuff like this. I used once and I really liked it. So I was like, ooh, I need to keep it and make sure that I get around to it. I have, I just have a ton of stuff. So these are items that I'm working on rotating. And this here is just tons of products that did not fit in the other basket. Like that's the long and short of it. So I have my favorite brush cleaner. These here, I am getting ready to open super soon. I got the minis. I absolutely love the minis. You guys definitely need to try them. Um, so yeah, these are just more. These are the minis. Um, these are just more and more and more products. Okay, so the way we set this up is everything in this basket is a video, whether it's Instagram or whether it is YouTube. So just know that. And OM. G, this here, this black box, also eyeshadow palettes. And I did declutter, but these are the ones that I wanted to keep. So the ones in the brown box and those are the ones that I wanted to keep. And then we have these drawers down here. I'm gonna bend over and do these before going to the acrylic organizers because I've got a lot of crap. Don't mind the um <laughs> foundation. But here we have um my sponges. The white ones, for some reason, don't do so well. They get stained. Like this here is a concealer that I absolutely hated. I used this beauty blender one time, literally one time, and it got stained, and there's no way to get that off. So if you have suggestions on how to do that, I've tried three different products, and it still looks like this, but it's freaking clean. Was that a ghost? I saw it move. Was that a ghost? I don't know, but that kind of freaked me out. So, um, so I keep my sponges here. This one is empty. Here I keep bags and more bags will be added to this drawer. Fair lashes, another bag. And here we have some miscellaneous stuff. Normally what I'm leaning towards is this is gonna be my nail drawer. I have so many more London Town nail polishes that I have in a bag. And I feel like this is just gonna be my nail uh, equipment and nail polish drawer because it just makes sense. I'll remove whatever is not nail related out of here. This here is one of the fun drawers. So this is my highlighter drawer. 
I felt so bad getting rid of a ton of highlighters like I was in pain but it made me happy seeing how other people were just like swatching things and really enjoying it and they were just like oh my god that is so cute and applying their makeup so it made me kind of happy but it was sad to give things up here we have some bronzers and blushes these have been the ones that I knew that I didn't want to get rid of so I've kept them here we have I picked this up in a vending machine over at the airport I was dying with the experience. It was amazing. So I knew I needed to keep this solely because it's beautiful, but I also like the experience was everything. The Too Faced Limited Edition Soulmates. This is the Ross and Rachel. They are my favorite from the show, Friends. Um, wait a minute. Is it a coincidence that I have the Friends shirt on? Like, how? But anyway, that is what this drawer is for. Uh, then we go over here and that is more highlighters. I know you guys are going to be like, what's the point? I know. It's just a lot more highlighters and items that I just wanted to keep. So this is amazing. I'm going to use it on my eyes again because she is like stunning. You guys need to get your hands on this. Okay, this is a highlighter. This one is in hypothermia. It's a Supreme Frost by Jeffree Star. Once I showed you guys what it looked like on the eyes, you guys went to check it out and it sold out pretty quickly. Just know that the quality was crap in that video. So I'm going to do it again so you guys can actually see what it looks like on the eyes with great quality. Down here we have lashes. So I've gotten pretty good at sharing my lashes because I had so many that it wouldn't fit in here and then I was feeling some type of way. But um, we're doing things because I get lashes every single month. So I try to use them and or share them. So these here are my lashes. And then here we have all things glitter. We have some shadows here, but these have such an intense highlight effect. So I keep them with the glitters. And then we have Tri Beauty Box glitters. We have all sorts of mixed glitters. We have glitter liners. We just have glitters galore. We're going into the gray one now. This here is literally just face palettes. Like they didn't fit over there. I didn't know where to put it. It wasn't just a blush. There's like blushes and bronzers and highlighters. It's just a mixture of things. So these are all just face palettes. I started adding my equipment to the second drawer. These were actually backdrops that I had when I actually had a backdrop for videos. And more equipment. If you look in here, guys, I've got extra ring lights, adapters, uh, look at that a mic a mic when you are actually trying to grow a channel and you decide that you want to change things up you realize that the equipment that you have is not good enough and you always want to upgrade so I literally have a drawer of like mics and wires and adapters and just a bunch of stuff all this area here I'm really proud of because I took an entire day to get it together and it's exactly what I needed it to be so right here I literally just have lippies i picked these up over at the container store i did get some at the dollar tree but those were like super cheap and then cascaded and i didn't need them to cascade and they were cracking super easily so i ended up picking these up over at the container store they were affordable and you can fit 24 lippies in it so i picked up uh four of them um but here i have like a ton of my liquid lipsticks and stuff i added some skincare up here pinky nude lip glosses Gold and nudie nude lip glosses, lip liners, lipstick balm type of lippies, rosy pink, reds, um, purple kind of uh, liquid lipsticks, and anything that's considered a nude would be in here as long as it's a liquid lipstick. This drawer literally has lip balms, eye primers, face primers. See guys, like I, I was not kidding. So face primer, I love these two. More face primers, more face primers and oils, more face primers and oils. I decided to use this drawer for stick cream products. So I have all my match sticks from uh, Fenty here. I've got, you know, the Chuck E. Cheese cards up in here because I don't know where to put them. So they're there. Highlighters, face powders, my faves, love them. Setting powders, highlighters, and then another setting powder because she didn't fit up here, but I wanted to keep her in the same family. These products are the ones that I like to visit very often. We have our Huda Beauty down here, but then we have these uh, metallic -y kind of toppers and liners to play around with. And then my Beauty For Real uh, sticks, which help me create a very natural look, but still look amazing on the eyes. And this is just very similar, a whole bunch of eye products that are very like illuminating and just pretty. All of these here are black liners. All of these here are colorful liners. All of these here are for the lashes, typically mascaras and or primers. Everything in here is for the brows. This here is pretty much empty. I haven't figured out what to put in here. So I did put like these two like under eye concealer situations. These are really for color correcting though. 
This here is my printer and I like to use her um, to print out my labels and just stuff for shipping and important contracts and stuff. Here I have eyeshadow palettes that I need at arm's reach no matter what. This is the palette that I used for my eyes today, yes. This one, oh my god, would you believe me if I told you I still haven't used her? She's brand new, that's why she's here. We have my Tati palette which, you know, I'm ride or die for that. Festival. These are all palettes that I want to continue to play with like in the next few days. Here we have a drawer of just freshly cleaned face brushes. I have another box of face brushes. I didn't show you that, but it's in the closet. This drawer is completely empty. I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in here yet. And then here we have my eyeglasses. I have two pairs that are not currently in here because one is in my bedroom. The other one is in the dining room. However, eyeglasses go in here. And then some of the sunglasses. I actually went through a declutter phase and I got rid of a ton of glasses. So these here are the glasses that I use and or Ty uses. I know sometimes when watching videos, things seem a lot more interesting and oh my God, than they actually really are. I don't think this is any thing that's super cool or crazy i just i'm really grateful that although this is not my house and i can't make a lot of changes to it i'm grateful that i have more space to actually make things work for me and that was my studio room tour if you haven't seen my filming lighting setup and my equipment make sure you check up here as well in the description box that video will be linked down there and don't forget to sign up for that giveaway guys it's getting ready to close pretty pretty soon you don't want to miss out i'm not sure if you found this video kind of interesting fun or just like eye-opening because i do have a ton of makeup i used to have a way more than i have now i have been decluttering so i pat myself in the back for that but yes given that this video has been requested for quite some time i hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to check out the videos that are popping here on screen i know you're gonna absolutely love those as well and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys